Hi, this is John Mick, field agronomist for Pioneer, with a discussion today on grain sorghum off-type plants. Off-type sorghum plants are those which do not fit into the criteria of being normal height or grain producing type within a commercial sorghum field. These usually are easy to pick out and often cause concern among producers because their appearance can be similar to weeds like shatter cane or Johnson grass. This concern is usually not justified and in this series of videos we want to explain them. There are five different types of off-type plants which can occur in a commercial sorghum field. This first video will explain the most common type, the height mutation. The name for height mutations is easily understood when you look at these as they stand a foot or more above the rest of the field. Within the genetic makeup of sorghum, there are four dwarfing genes which control overall plant height. If you breed a sorghum plant with none of those genes, it results in a zero dwarf plant that will reach 10 to 12 feet tall under most conditions. This type of plant is common with extreme full maturity forage sorghums. Plants with one dwarfing gene, known as one dwarf plants, will usually grow into that six to nine foot range and these are very common with most commercial forage sorghums grown today. Two dwarfing genes are utilized to produce what are known as dual purpose hybrids. These are grown where producers want the option to harvest for either grain or silage. Commercial grain sorghum usually has three dwarfing genes resulting in plant height within that four foot tall range. When these grain hybrids were first produced, they were known as combine kaffir because they were the first sorghums produced that were short enough to harvest the grain with a mechanized combine. Height mutations occur in grain sorghum when one of those dwarfing genes becomes unstable and it loses its ability to regulate plant height. The result is a taller plant that is otherwise indistinguishable from the other grain hybrids around it. This is simply a genetic twist and it explains why height mutations vary so much between different genetic lines or hybrids. Under dry or stressful conditions, these height mutations do not express the height and can be difficult to see across the field. But under highly productive situations like we have here today, they really stand out. Producers should not worry about these off types because they do not grow back as shatter cane and thus there is no need to rogue these out of a field. In the next video, I will explain grassy off-type outcrosses. For Pioneer Hybrid, this has been John Mick. Thanks for watching today. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.